Hey everybody, I'm Rich Savage. Are you ready to do some time traveling? It's time for Monster Kid Memories. Hey everybody, welcome to Monster Kid Memories. I'm your host, Rich Savage, and this episode we're going to be taking a look at the original Aurora Monster Model Kits. Let's take a trip back in time. If you grew up in the 60s and 70s, there's a good chance you owned an Aurora Monster Model Kit. Aurora Plastics Corporation were already well known as purveyors of low-cost toys such as the Big Chief Bow and Arrow Set and plastic model kits. The model kits in the 1950s focused on World War II era planes, vehicles, cars, and historic sailing ships. But that was all about to change when in 1957, Screen Gems bundled together 52 classic Universal horror films and released them for syndicated television in a package they called Shock. Record numbers of viewers began tuning in all over the country, usually around 10.30 p.m. to watch some of the scariest movies they've ever seen. Frankenstein, Dracula, The Wolfman, and all of the original Universal Monsters proved to be a huge success on television, especially with the kids. It soon became apparent that kids across the nation had become obsessed with the monster movies and they wanted more. Manufacturers took notice and started planning a rollout of a variety of monster products aimed at youngsters everywhere. At Aurora, an executive named Bill Silverstein took notice as well. Silverstein brought the idea of making plastic model kits fashioned after the Universal Monsters to the other heads at Aurora and found them hard to convince. Undeterred, Silverstein kept at it, noting the popularity of the monsters with the kids and how it just seemed to keep growing. Soon, Aurora saw the light, and the monster model kit for Frankenstein's monster was greenlit. And, as they say, the rest is history. Released in the summer of 1962, the Frankenstein model kit was an instant sensation. Demand was so high that Aurora had to keep production running day and night. Other kits soon followed. Dracula, the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Creature, and so on. As wonderful as the monster model kits were, it must be noted that the packaging played no small part in capturing the imaginations of young monster lovers everywhere. The vibrant, horrific artwork on each box was the work of the legendary James Bama. Between 1962 and 1966, Aurora had unleashed 13 kits in its monster series. As sales began to slow by 1969, Aurora reintroduced the original kits with an exciting new campaign, Frightening Lightning. The new monster model kits featured glow-in-the-dark parts, including heads and hands, which added a whole new creep factor to the models. The Aurora monster model sales were reinvigorated for a time, but as the 1970s approached, sales began to decline once again. Aurora soon introduced another, totally different, more controversial line of monster models, which we'll discuss at another time. But it's these original 13 monster model kits that monster kids everywhere will never forget. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us for Monster Kid Memories. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for alerts, and leave comments below. Let us know about your favorite Monster Kid memory. I'll see you next time.